But the choice for Wisconsin is simple. If you want lower costs, higher incomes, and an affordable American dream, then you have no choice but to vote for a gentleman named Donald J. Trump for president. Crooked Joe likes to talk about junk fees, but he — the biggest junk fee of all, think about it, is all of the 50 percent Biden inflation tax, and that's what it is. And you just think of it. I mean, if you look at the real numbers of that, it's incredible. And we thought it was 30 percent, and we thought — and we were sure it was no more than that. It turns out to be actually 50 percent. The extra cost you're paying at the grocery counter and the gas pump and all of the other places that you have to go buy, no matter what you buy, and that's all taken place within three and a half years. Think of it. But here's the good news. We have six months. Now, with these stupid people running our country, that's an eternity, because you could end up in World War III with this group here. You don't know what's going to happen. But six months sounds very short. It's not. Frankly, with them, it's an eternity. But it is not that long a period of time. And we'll be here very quickly, and we're going to have a good time, and we're going to have a great convention. And I'm honored to have chosen your state. We had a lot to do with that. Reince. Reince. Yeah. We're honored. We're honored. Biden has run the government like uh, Robin Hood, essentially in reverse, stealing from the poor and giving it to the rich. That's actually what he does. You know, they talk the game, oh, Trump, Trump, Trump. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. It's like I was saying the, the other day, the New York Times, every story they write is the exact opposite. They're so untruthful. They take something and make it the opposite. So when you're reading a story, you have to remember, you just do the opposite. It's a terrible thing. It's the same with the Democrats. They, you know, they say many of the rich people are with Democrats. It's changed. We become the party of the worker. We become the party of the middle income. It's, done a whole flip. Just listen, a few examples of what Biden's inflation taxes really brought. Crooked Joe is spending hundreds of billions of dollars to give $7,500 tax credits to rich people who buy electric cars. How, what do you think of an electric car? Well, I like Elon, but, you know, the car, you know, and there's a place for electric cars, but you have to have other choices, too. They want to have, by the end of, I guess, five years from now, by 2030, they want to have, think of this, almost everybody have an electric car, but they don't want them. And they're not selling. And you know, one of the great things people don't know, well, how come they keep getting made? You know why? Because the government, our government, subsidizes the hell out of them. So the car companies are doing okay. They're making cars that aren't selling. They're just not selling. They're giving billions and billions of dollars away in subsidy to create cars that people don't want. And again, I'm all for them. If you want to go to the candy store, buy yourself a little candy and come back home. <laughs> but if you want to take a trip to a place like Mar-a-Lago to say hello to me, <laughs> you better get yourself a different mode of transportation. <laughs> And, you know, the, the scary part about that, they want trucks to be that way, and the trucks have to stop six times going to California versus not stopping at all, uh, if you get the diesel, the big diesels. And uh, it's really crazy. It's really crazy when you think of what they do. And they never change. You can explain this to them. You know, six stops versus no stop. You don't have to know much more than that. There's one other thing. The battery would take up almost the entire truck. You wouldn't have any room for very much. Uh, they want to make our army tanks all electric. <laughs> so that when we go into a foreign country, blazing hot we're going in, we keep their environment and their air nice and clean. <laughs> now, how crazy is it? Are we crazy? They want to use a certain fuel in airplanes. You know, I bought all brand new, beautiful jet fighters. I rebuilt the whole military. They want to use a certain fuel that brings the jets back down to 15 percent less efficient. That's a lot. When you have somebody shooting at you on the other side, the 15 percent is the difference between winning and losing. So I said it's 15 percent. 
That's right. Now, think of it. We're fighting over enemy territory. We're worried about their, their uh, carbon content. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about